This conference will now be recorded. So what do you all think about this? I want the inputs from you all. Do you think that uh, online has now won the war and now offline is no, no longer important? Please put you, give your inputs. Do you think that now offline shops are pointless? There's no meaning in having offline shop? At least not in Nepal. Even even in Europe, where there is so much online, where you can order contact lenses uh, across the continent, two-day delivery. You can order any contact lens you want within two days. Till you have offline shops. Till offline shops are very important. The reason behind that is experiences matter. Online customer just goes for convenience. He just wants something. He doesn't go for experience. People want experience. People pay for experience. What is experience? Why do you go to McDonald's? You all go to McDonald's? Domino's? Whichever fast food chain, you go, right? You go with your friends. Why do you go? You have Zomato now. You have Swiggy now. You go because you get that experience. McDonald's and Domino's gives you that service everywhere the same way. It gives you the same quality. The staff greet you. They have the same menu, the same pricing. They give you that experience and you trust in that experience. Otherwise, Zomato is there, right? You can always order in Zomato, sit in your home and have food. They are giving you that experience and that is what is important. I think you all will agree on that. That's why online will never win the game. Online is always a medium. But until and unless you have a you offer a good offline experience, your online also will not work. You need to give your customer such an experience he needs to come back to you. If he comes to Kapil Bhai, if he comes to Shridhar, he will come back to him only. He has that trust. That is what you need to make in your optical shop. This slide is also very important. How you can sell to everyone, anything to anyone. You don't do trading. You don't say chashma lelo, chashma lelo. You don't do trading. You don't sell product. You sell the emotion. You connect with the customer. Customer comes with a need and you fulfill that. You build trust. See. Customer comes for, I'll just tell you in terms of optometry. If a person comes, I can't read. What is his need? He just wants reading glasses. But if you give him reading glasses as per his working distance, as we discussed, if you give him proper attention, you ask him what distance do you hold thing, you give him attention, then you're building trust. Then maybe you can sell him a bifocal, maybe an intermediate bifocal, maybe a progressive you can put him on progressive he came for a need but now he wants something you created that want that is what is important so the last line is very important people don't buy a drill they buy a hole people don't come to buy spectacles they come to buy to improve their vision and if you improve their vision you can give them polarized sunglasses. He's coming for reading glasses, okay. He also goes out, he plays cricket, he has that need. If you ask him, he will tell you, no. He will not come and tell, I play cricket, uh, I, can't, I have glare problem, you give me. If you start asking him the right questions, he'll come back and he will direct you that way. And he will, he will give you the answer, what he needs. And then you can give him what what product you have for him to solve his problem. Solving the problem is the most important. In today's world, quick service is very important. To stay against online, you need to have quick service. And uh, this is one example what we did in our stores. Uh, we put up this poster in 30 minutes. Of course, not everything we can't do uh, uh, prescription lenses in 30 minutes 
whatever is in stock whatever simple powers maybe you know some plano prescriptions some you know plano blue card for computer anti glare or something 30 minutes we give them fitted in 30 minutes where they will get the service no one in the world will give the service they will be very happy and today time is most valuable it's more valuable than the convenience of online even if he is getting buy one get one online if you are giving him in 30 minutes he'll come to you so quick service is very important there is one company who is giving in 20 minutes also so you can imagine what level of competition is uh, there now there are these two words which are very important whenever you are talking in sales if any of you has worked in sales you might be knowing this you can either upsell something or you can cross sell something an example of upselling in optometry or dispensing point of view is a person who is uh, ha- who is having bifocal in his mind and you are upselling you are giving you are explaining him and you are trying to tell him the benefits and upsell him you sell him a progressive so you are upselling him lot of times right uh, they when you are ordering in uh, restaurants they ask do you want a large do you want a large so they are trying to upsell you then other is cross selling a patient is coming only to buy uh, sunglasses you ask him for a free eye checkup to do his refraction he has uh, some astigmatism which he doesn't worry uh, you know maybe uh, 0.75 and 1.25 he's okay he doesn't uh, he, he wears spectacles any wants he is okay with wearing the sunglasses just like that if you explain him that i can give you toric contact lenses you are cross selling him you he came for one thing but you are giving him something which will help him he can wear the toric contact lens with sunglass outside that polarized he is getting glare protection he is getting uv protection he is getting that convenience of toric contact lens large field of view all benefits so you are cross selling opposite to this there are two more things opposite to upselling there is down selling you should never down sell a person is coming i want to buy 20000 rupees glasses and you say come sir i'll give you 2000 glass you are down selling you should never down sell so these two are very important you should always upsell you should always cross sell upselling is you are giving him something of a higher value cross selling is you are giving him some related product which might help him uh this is open for discussion you can give your examples if you any of you have your experiences please share there is one very important word used in retail that is called atv atv stands for average transaction value means your average bill value it is also also called average bill value all companies who do retail focus on this if your average bill value goes up your sale is more it's a directly proportional how you can get your average bill value up you can upsell and cross sell you can combine products you can give a offer on uh, sunglasses with contact lenses you can give an offer of progressive with reading glass you can change the look or the environment of your shop you can uh, keep certain frames as slightly premium you can keep some acetate good frames and you try to sell that frames so you increase your average transaction value you give offer on bulk purchase in contact lenses you can do a lot i myself have done a person comes for one month monthly contact lens i want i tell him you buy yearly i'll give you 20% off at the end i am not at a loss customer is very happy is getting a uh, benefit and my atv is going up i am able to sell more that one box of contact lens would only got me 1500 i am selling him yearly 6000 7000 i am getting that much sale so it is very important that you try to do bulk selling with contact lens i am telling you it's very easy i have taken contact lens orders of up to 30000 believe me 
that person comes only to buy you know some something i talk with him i try to understand what he wants now that person is coming for toric silicon hydrogel monthly disposable those lenses he needs to search i am telling why you are searching i am giving you yearly order together then i try to convince him because he goes for swimming i tell him you buy uh, one box of daily also each i and i sell him and believe me he was really happy because i solved this problem he doesn't need to search every month he is getting contact lens at one place i am giving him extra 10% discount he is happy i am happy i am getting this much big order of contact lens so this is very important to understand this is a very funny slide i think i you all will agree how much customers haggle in the optical store they want discount they want discount i think you all will relate yeah but yes. i think it's it's very very important that we should never drop the value too much you know we always we fear customer chale jayega customer will go more than customer will go the spectacle is a high value product does anyone buy spectacle every two months every month is it like toothpaste it is a high value product people buy spectacles once in a year on special celebration they want new design they buy spectacles with value if you drop the value they will not see spectacles that spectacles they will not see ke chashma hai chashma lene aaye they will think they ye to sabun ya toothpaste jata hai commodity hai the value will go down they will not uh, realize that how valuable a spectacle is then every time they will come and they will say us time diya tha give me that price and in short you are actually spoiling your own industry so you should never drop the value that much you can give some discount you can give some complimentary product but don't drop the value too much don't give okay 50% 60% 70% off don't do that i think you all will also agree with this confidence is the key you should have trust in your product in your service If a customer comes and tell you, "Oh, Baju, my shop is there. Is one shop is giving me for less. What you are doing? You may discount." You should have the confidence to say, "I have patients. I have customers who can pay me more. I am giving that service. I deserve that money." So confidence is the key, and uh, this is a very strong message. I think uh, all of us should actually read this and understand this. You should trust in our service. we all are optometrists we are not traders we are not selling reading glass on the road we are selling optometric services we should be confident that what service we are giving that is worth and the patient should know the worth and he should come and give you the money so if you have that confidence you know that your service is valuable automatically customers will come and they will pay you money you don't need to go anywhere you will have that customer base in your district in your city in your town people will come from different places so i think uh, this is very important and uh, is uh, is chandan bhai here i think he yeah, has yeah, opened he is opened a new new outlet and i think he will be able to give his experience yes <laughs> i am expecting to Yes, Murdu Bhai. Ah, thank you, Murdu Bhai. You have we have we have welcome you. You have joined our uh, group. We are very happy to to have you as a guest speaker. Yes, I. I Chandan Bhai, my I, pleasure. <laughs> I opened my clinic before three months. Now, due to lockdown, it is completely uh, closed. But uh, my experience, I want to share. Uh, like yes. we are talking about. Uh, <clears throat> 
so uh, when uh, yeah you are right that we are talking about that uh, uh, that we should charge on a value like optometric service sometimes uh, uh, when we give our uh, relatives in less price no what they will tell like i have got, got it in less price from him and then again they'll come their friends will come and they will try to ask us in a less value so uh, right. if alter, by giving services then we are uh, alternately we, we are in loss no well well while right. serving so i want uh, to discuss like which the value should be standard for everyone should be like for everyone it should be same like, yeah, we are charging for service no not for the like the business uh, <laughs> like, right right right, right. <clears throat> Yes, you you are doing very good job, bro. Very satisfied Aray, with your. Chandra, bhai. Ab, I I kya bolta hu? Ab, you please uh, share in in Nepali also if you want. You can say a few words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, all of them are. They know. They know English, bhai. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like uh, I mean, uh, what do you say? Aisa kuch mohabra bolo yaar. Aisa bol raha. Language nahi bol raha. You know some. Thik hai. But this is very true. But. But आपने एक्सपीरियंस क्या ही होगा इफ यू ड्रॉप द वैल्यू पीपल ऑलवेज अज्यूम उतना ही प्राइस में मिलेगा वो लोग हमेशा फिर वही प्राइस का एक्सपेक्टेशन लेके रखते हैं बट वी शुड ऑलवेज कीप आवर वैल्यू दैट इज वन थिंग वी कैन एड लॉट ऑफ डिस्प्लेस टू अट्रैक्ट कस्टमर्स तो दिस इज मी दिस इज एक्चुअली अवर शॉप इन बॉम्बे तो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल एल ई डी डिस्प्ले So if you see the cost of this, it is hardly two thousand, two thousand two hundred rupees. Hardly, like the cost of your uh, some small furniture, something is very large. This is like one-time investment. This is the LED. If you have something like this, it's eye-catching. Like lot of medical stores have, right? The board and lot of like the small, small things you can do to attract people. This is one more thing I want to share. Uh, I saw this in Sankara College of Optometry actually, and we also have this. So this is nothing. This is an ultrasonic cleaner. It cleans spectacles. But you can use this for your business as in a very big way. It is a very small thing. The price of this thing is only three thousand rupees. But if you keep this on in your shop on your counter. I'll show you in Shankar Eye Hospital at the entrance. Uh, I saw this board. I think you can see this uh, power clean. They advertised ultrasonic power cleaning free. If you see the impact of this, customers bring their friends and family only for this. There is nothing in this. It is a small machine which has an ultrasonic motor. It just cleans spectacles. but for this cleaning they will bring their friends their family lot of people will come and your uh, shop will have more walk in you will become more uh, people will become aware of your service so this is a very very powerful tool like this things you can use there is nothing there is no it's not a big cost it's a very very simple cost but it can actually add a very big way one more thing i want to share i don't have that image now but same like this one person has made uh, like a poster in their facebook instagram whatsapp they are writing free ultrasonic cleaning and free nose patch changing all optical shops do a nose patch changing it is not a big thing it hardly cost anything but he is advertising that in such a way at all normal customers your customer doesn't know no spread is nothing so it doesn't cost anything it's 2 rupees but your customer feels wow free no spread service lifetime service lifetime cleaning so these things the customer actually registers in his mind and he tells 10 people and him telling 10 people is more effective than your brochure maybe you are doing some brochure distribution in your area maybe you are doing advertise in radio in newspaper this type of advertise word of mouth marketing it's called word of mouth is the most powerful marketing possible 
if your customer tells to his friends his friends his friends you will have a very big customer base so this is a very powerful thing i think i have not added too much in this presentation uh, this is something i would like to end with kind of uh, you should always be a innovator see on the left side there is a trader like any grocery shop he is buying buying banana or vegetable or anything at one price he is taking some profit and selling it you should not do that we are educated we are professionals we can take a product of one price we can match it to the need of the patient and we can sell it at the, our own price we are solving the problem of the patient the customer so this is very important like this is the most important thing i should i think you should you all should take out you should never be trader never buy frames for 100 rupees selling for 500 buy frames know which frame to give to which patient explain the benefit tell its lightweight whatever explain it in such a way give that service talk to the patient properly greet the patient wish the patient on festivals connect with the patient get the patient's the customer's trust solve his problem most important in the lecture before this i told about intermediate addition it is very simple thing half of addition anyone can do in third year we all are taught taught in optometry school we never apply only that one thing i am telling you if you do with one customer one patient who really requires intermediate ad who is working in front of laptop who is not comfortable with progressives his neck is paining if you give him that he will be so happy lifetime is your customer he will not go anywhere so i think this is very very important and uh, i think we'll end with this it's already been a very long day uh, and i hope it was fruitful you all enjoyed please share your experiences and uh, i need your feedback this is the first time i am doing something of this sort online webinar i am not a professional speaker uh, by any ways this is something i have just tried to share what i know and i hope to learn from all of you yes uh, thank you so much uh, mudad sir for informative session and also thanks uh, to all the attendees and participants for their passion so as a say to mera maile 100% free mein se question sunni mo ga dirako chu kasai lai ke question ho ni sunnu na anurodh garna chahanchu so we are giving 100% free of cost for asking the question yes sir <laughs> right sir yeah yeah okay so uh, please uh, do give your feedback and uh, i've just uh, got this very beautiful uh, photo of uh, in indo nepali brothership uh, let's hope uh, our bond grows stronger and stronger in the coming years yeah india and nepal has always been very close and uh, thank you so much for uh, giving me a chance akhil bhai and uh, chandan bhai shridhar bhai and it's been a pleasure if there is any questions i will be very happy to discuss we can actually discuss if there is anything that uh, you all want to discuss Yeah, Kapil, and I think it's done. Uh, from my end, yes, yes sir. Yes. Uh, I don't think uh, we have any question more. So, Gauri sir, what is the question, sir? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. yes, yes hello, sir. sir. Uh, I do not have any question. I was just wondering that um, maybe for the fresh graduates, if we have some sort of the of very short crash uh, dispensing course or some sort of marketing courses for the yes. new optometrists the freshly right. graduate optometrists i think right. that would be wonderful so i was just thinking about that right. as sure, i look sir. at your presentations so right right sir. i think that would be a very much help to the the freshly sure, graduate sir. students so if they decide sure. that they want to go in the optical business and outlets I think that might be right. a good opening start starter for them. Sure, sure, no problem, sir. Yeah. I am actually planning to open a YouTube channel uh, where I can put some of these things. 
some dispensing some optical details i'll definitely okay. share the channel please support yeah yes sir that's that's great thanks yeah. thank you so much sir thank you yes yeah. sir okay sanandai do you have any question really happy to see you rudip sir <laughs> Uh, so there is one question in which case should we prescribe the progressive and uh, intermediate power okay so uh, i am telling this again uh, see progressive uh, is always there everyone prescribes progressive you can always give progressive to anyone who needs correction for all distance any press wire intermediate power is there in the progressive but some people don't like progressive because they have to adjust their neck because they constantly have worked at 60 70 80 cm so with the progressive they have to just manage like this they don't use all distance near intermediate they just want intermediate so we are actually customizing and giving them intermediate power and uh, actually i am telling you if there are some people you know who are not happy with progressive if you can give them intermediate power if you can give them near vision chart in the testing room you show them what distance your computer screen is whatever tell them to move the near chart and you uh, adjust the addition accordingly and give them so the further some the near vision chart goes lesser the addition the closer someone holds more the addition it's a very simple rule uh mm -hmm. Uh, Sonal Bhai, do you have any question? Sonal <laughs> uh, Bhai should share his experience. Yeah, <laughs> you are doing very good job, bro. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> we are very satisfied with your speaking ability and sharing your experience with us. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So, uh, I guess we are at the end of the presentation. Uh, before ending yes. the session, I would like to express my sincere gratitude, uh, gratitude towards the presenter, Mr. Uh, Murtad sir, and all the attendees. And also, I would like to appreciate all the helping hands for this program. Uh, uh, here, uh, we, I am ending the today's session, requesting for all of you to drop and review the feedback. Uh, thank you so much once again, uh, Murtad sir. Thank you so much. So the feedback uh, link is uh, put by Shridhar Bhai in the chat box. Yes, 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 I'll yes, request yes. you all to please uh, fill the feedback box so I can know where to improve. Please give me suggestion. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Hope, thank uh, you for uh, yes, yes, thank you so much. Sir. Stay safe. Stay in thoughts. <laughs> thank you so yes, much. Yes, everyone. Everyone, take care. Uh, stay home. Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thanks.